This video is sponsored by PageProof. Bright Slide. This is not the only add-in tool for, for PowerPoint, but it is the add-in. This is the add-in you need if you're working in PowerPoint. Oh, but does it work on a Mac? Yes, it's cross-platform, available for the Mac and the PC. It's from a company called Bright Carbon. It was designed for their in-house designers, and it's continually updated. So it is not also, I should point out, an add-in that requires anybody else to have it. So, it's, so all it is are productivity tools and efficiency tools to help you do what PowerPoint normally does, just do it faster and better and more efficiently. For example, making a grid. When you launch InDesign, you start a layout project, who creates a grid? Sort of just by habit, just okay, maybe you'll do it like a little down the road, right? If you went to design school, it's probably sort of like, like you know, beaten into your head. Design grids help designers do their work, right? Yes, psychologically it helps you know, the audience as well, but it helps you align things, not have to you know, overthink things. It helps with the consistency. We do it in InDesign, we do it in Illustrator, we do it in other programs, but when it comes to PowerPoint, we don't make a grid, right? You have to, you need to, it's gonna help you, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, the first thing you wanna know is if you right click, again, using our mouse here, and go down to, uh, oh, what did I, I click the wrong thing there. Here I go, uh, if you go down to grids and guides, right, you're right clicking anywhere in the slide, go down to grids and guides, you're going to see grid lines. Is this what you want to use to make your grid lines? No, this is not at all what you want to use. It would make sense. So if I click grid lines, what do I get? Uh, did it even turn them on? Here, let me, uh, grid lines. You get, you can probably barely even see it. Do you see a bunch of dots all over the place? It is technically some square grid that you can adjust the space. It is completely useless. It's completely, a, don't ever, here, I'm just gonna take it off. Um, it is not what you want. You want guidelines or guides. Now, we're probably familiar with these. These are these horizontal, vertical ones that you can sort of adjust and everything. You can apply these at three different levels. The master, any individual layout, and any individual slide. As you'll see, generally, I just stick to the master to make it easier. You can layer them, and they, each layer has colors. So the, these are red. These are on the master right now, so I can't move them. But the problem, so if I, if I go into grid, right click, grids and guides, and do like add vertical guide, so it's gonna give me like a gray one here that I can move, and if I do, I think it's option shift, I can, uh, uh, let's, I think, oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, so you can see, they're kind of a, a, if I, there it is, option shift, I can duplicate it and move it. It is a royal pain to actually set up a grid with these, and it takes you way too long. That's where Bright Slide comes in. I'm gonna go up to Bright, Bright Slide gives you a new ribbon up here, right, with tons and tons of tools, right? I'm not gonna go through all of them, but what I wanna show you right now is guides right here. This is what we want. Click guides and you have a whole bunch of options. Delete, change colors, make from selection. You can actually bring like line art in from somewhere else and have it done. I'm going to first delete them from everything. That's usually what I do. Just say, get rid of everything. Then go into guides, create guides. I'm gonna do it at the master level. And you get this cool looking, uh, very handy little dialogue box from Brightslide that mathematically allows you to do things like add margins. With one click, boom, there are my margins, half inch. You can take the little chain thing off. Columns, uh, let me do, I could do a three column, I could do, let me go do a six column. Just click, click, click. I wanna give a gutter to it, maybe like a, uh, maybe a .375 inch gutter. Uh, rows, I usually don't do too many rows, but maybe, maybe we'll do like six rows here inches, metric, whatever, click OK, there are your guides, done. I never touch, thank you, <laughs> I never touch a, a, a PowerPoint file without setting up some sort of, of grid line, some sort of um, grid. Now, like, like in InDesign or whatever, it, you can adjust it, like you can reverse engineer it as you're going through, you're like, yeah, six columns isn't working for me, let me go to three or let me go to four, let me try, you could always go back and change it at any time. And as I said, like start reverse engineering it. So once you get your, your grid in here, you're like, well that, and I, I know I should be doing this on the master, but I'm just doing it here on the slide. Let me align my, my title to that. Uh, let me align all my boxes here. 
to the top, maybe my, my gray boxes. I'm going to select these and go to my grids. Uh, there you go. Boom. So now I've got, I don't have to think. I can go to the next slide. I've already got something to work with. So there's no excuse. Bright Slide is free. Did I mention it's free? It, you saw it in about 30 seconds. You have your grid. And you'll always go back to, um, if you uh, go back to guides, uh, add to master, you'll go back to what you had before, right? Exactly what you had. And if you're like, nah, I want to go down to three, go three, you know, you just go whatever and then change it. Done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.